All right, folks, after a quick break, we are back here at the Tech Labs Cup 2014 qualifying rounds. We've already had a great best of three series between Relax and Aware Gaming, but we are here with the second and last best of three of the evening. It is Virtus Pro versus Head Gaming here in the winner's final, or I guess the winner's Ten bracket, I should say. Remaining. It's been a pleasure casting for you thus far, but we still have potentially three games to go seconds, here on Beyond the Summit. Seconds, Thanks for joining us. My name is Mont. With me tonight is Kyle Guy. How are you doing, man? Reserve time. Hello. Hello? Kyle Guy. Sorry, sorry. That's my fault, Mont. Don't mean to make you look bad there. I left my mic muted and uh, simply talked to myself briefly and gave my own introduction so but you know happy to be here Mom. thanks again as always it's gonna be a lot of fun excited it was a short break but uh, I'm happy to uh, get the ball rolling yeah I mean the pause is coming out in the last series so it took a bit of time but nonetheless I think it was a great series even the pauses couldn't change that fact and Honestly, I'm excited to bring you guys this next best of three because uh, Virtus Pro, I think, a strong, confident team coming into this best of three series. But we we know what happens. We've seen what happens when Titans fall. Not that Relax was generally considered a Titan. They certainly were the favorite up against the underdog, which was Aware Gaming. So, you know, things can happen, obviously, ahead in Virtus Pro. They're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now, as you can clearly see. A couple of stand-ins, a couple of names that I don't necessarily recognize on both sides, but that generally doesn't matter. What really matters is the draft that's going on right now, and guess who's the first band from Veritas Pro, man? That Centaur War Runner. Gotta love Centaur War Runner, prominent offlaner, but uh, we'll see. Veritas Pro know their stuff, man. This is a team with lots of experience, and they are the favorites as well going into this matchup. Last time I checked, 79% to a heads 21, but you can just chopped it up to experience alone that Virtus Pro's gone through. Um, they are currently also riding a nice three-game win streak, and their most recent victory mod was to MYM in Star Ladder. Yeah, honestly, you know what? And, and the thing is, you can't, you really can't count out ahead. These these guys are experienced in their own in, in their own right as well. I've seen No Fear play a number of times, and he's just a great player all around. Not too familiar with the rest of their squad here, but I'm excited to see what they can accomplish, especially with the draft. We'll see what they pick up first, but it is Virtus mm -hmm. Pro, and well, it's more of the same. None More. other wow. than the prominent, flamboyant ancient apparition <laughs> as the first grab. It's it's like the it's literally almost the same as the second game we saw between Aware and Relax. It's just like the same draft except the ancient apparition wasn't there, and the dads yeah. are like, and, oh wow, it's, I've never seen that before. Naga Siren coming out. Okay, this Virtus is just. At least there's a Naga. I'm like bat. actually kind of excited to see that hero, but. Um, I it's mean, for Batrider. That's yeah. what would be my guess. He's still in the pool and available. Now ahead, don't have the option to grab him up as their offlaner because they're like, ooh, we don't want to put Bat into a Naga. That might be iffy. Radiant and now we already got rid of Nick, so our only good offlane option could maybe be a Clockwork. What the heck? A ban out on Wraith? Really? I don't yeah. know. I haven't seen I haven't seen Verse Pro recent games, but uh, who were you saying that was a direct counter to? The the Doom the Doom pickup actually. Um, so, you know, potentially could see that happen. Verse Pro's top pickup is Doom. Is it? Just a heads up. Oh yeah, they're six and ten. This is all as of six point eight. Well, I mean, why would uh, a headband that ten? Then? Why would a headband the, the Wraith King? I mean, I I mean, it's not like. It was more sort of like it could be a drug counter. I don't know if it actually is. I mean, the problem is it's like, I mean, you're not going to doom a Wraith King because you don't generally need to. So, I don't know. I think if Virtus Pro could still pick that up, obviously, seconds, the Doom pick up as well, and that might be interesting. But, uh, yeah, I, we'll see, I guess. They need some sort of lockdown for the Lycan, and Snare will definitely do that. But maybe they want more. And we'll see if the Naga is put as support or mid. And, and I'm not really too familiar with Virtus Pro's draft myself. This is one of the first games I've seen of them in a while. Not to, you know, be a, you know, some scrub that doesn't watch Virtus Pro games, but it's it's certainly interesting to see what they're going to do. Batrider is picked Virtus up from ahead, so, and you were talking about, this is actually really interesting, like, they decided to pick that after the Naga Sarn, because Ensnare is a thing, Song is a thing, like, how are you going to pick that up? That's interesting that they go for that. I, that's ballsy, I'd say, at the very least, so. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they didn't really have any other good options to roll with as far as offlaners, maybe, because they continuously banned out more of them, the Nature's Prophet, in addition, and you don't have the Nyx Assassin already, so maybe they're like, we'll just hope for the best, and we'll still be able to, you know, have a strong laning phase with the Batrider regardless. Yeah. But yeah, down the road with the Naga, it could definitely make things very tricky. And uh, what we were talking about last time the Lycan was grabbed was that we were hoping to 
pull away those babysitters from him by forcing him maybe to check out the jungle situation. We were calling out the names of saying like an Enigma would be a great band. Yeah. I don't know if something Verse Bro would like to fall back on. I like to see it because whatever they did last time didn't work. Lycan got that free farm. Yeah. The babysitters were there to harass everyone else out of the line, harass the Batrider, what have you. So we'll see if Verse Pro now have Lycan's number. Maybe you can even go aggro try here for British Pro because an ancient apparition with chilling touch is is pretty good and they have the lockdown with ensnare if they're going to use that as a support then do Simber Saw solo save something like that and pick up a strong laning hero that could do really well in an aggressive trailing scenario. There's a couple heroes that fit that role. I would um, say the the Weaver. I like the Weaver and Ancient Apparition together with a Chilling Touch, and that uh, I I guess he could be locked down later, but I feel like in the lane it would work relatively nice. But that's just. That's just my opinion, you know? Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen it too often recently, but Slaughter might be something that works in that scenario. Um, I'm trying to rack my brain here. There's a couple other heroes that could do very well in that scenario. I'm just trying to think. Somebody that has... I, I would like to see another hero. Wave clearing well. needs to be important, too, considering yeah. against the Lycan. I mean, we could even see the Shadow Fiend again. Be Maybe even a pick helicopter up. might not be bad with his Rapid mm -hmm. Barrage. Um, just something that can just do a lot of damage quickly. Gyrocopter could certainly clear the wave very quickly. Disruptor is going to come out from ahead, so this is actually going to be kind of an issue. Um, for a timber saw, he's gonna jump and he's gonna get glimpsed back, assuming he doesn't have a blink dagger or something along those lines. Disruptor, we saw how good he could be in terms of controlling a team fight. They don't have that great roaming support, like we talked about with the Lycan last time. So yes, sending somebody in the jungle might be nice here if you're gonna send that Naga Siren mid for Brodus Pro, and that's the good thing. They have a lot of options here with the draft thus far. They can they have a lot of versatility in where they can send each of these heroes. Ten seconds um, remaining. But it should be a mid bat rider, I think. It could be off lane, obviously. Uh, it could be even jungle to a certain remaining. extent, but now because they have the disruptor and dazzle already, so I, I'd imagine it's offlane or mid. So it'll definitely be the offlane. Batrider just does so well there nowadays. You can take advantage of the cliff and go ahead and go for the side pole camp, you know, and just kind of be a nuisance like there and have the safe, the safe escape, being able to fly. So H operation can help try to burst him down a little bit of damage, but we need to draw attention away from the lichen, which I pretty much think will be uh, a heads goal in this one. And I did in the meantime look up a fun little stat. Ahead's coming off a of victory themselves to aware the team we just saw take down relax. So ahead did take you know, take them out. So, you know, there's nothing to chuckle at. Ahead could be uh could be able to take it to Verse Pro in this. You'd say they'll get ahead of Verdis Pro. No. No. <laughs> no. No. No, okay. Alright, I tried everybody. That's it, I'm done. Alright, see you all <laughs> later. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> no. These team names, are you aware, ahead, you know, it's just like, they just are like food for puns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. They're not like American names, Team Liquid, Evil Geniuses, I mean, or even Chinese names, which are a bit more like out there, I guess. Radiant huh, that's Radiant. not really what I was expecting. Um, that's a trap protector. Uh, Certainly not, Colin. So that's a Naga mid then, I think, or a Naga core at least. At the very least, that's a Naga core. Unless that Treant wants to be farming, in which case, I don't, what, what game am I playing then? I I've know. seen Treant in the mid lane before. It's been done. But to call it out, to pull it this early without really seeing a heads mid laner would be kind of kind of silly. Yeah, so, very yeah. so yeah, you know, Naga could definitely just be in the mid lane. It's definitely a, an option. Radiant team pick. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I'm not sure how they feel about Nog in the mid, um, knowing them, just seeing, like, what can they get done with that hero? And, like, because you have to farm for a while to be, like, decent. And the good thing is, you know, they'll be able to counter push if the Naga gets a ratings pretty quickly against that Lycan, which is something that most heroes can't do, is push faster than a Lycan can. Naga can take down towers, take down waves extraordinarily quick. They, the Naga illusions, Five once they get farmed, can they kill heroes, too. So... It comes down to if this is going to be a farming Naga, how are they going to use it in what lane? Uh, Puck is going to get picked up mid. To pick. And that's actually a good matchup, I think. For I mean, Naga is not going to have the roughest time, but it's not going to have the easiest time against a Puck. Puck can certainly take him down with the Lose Your War, but Naga Sire can dish out the damage with Riptide as well. Um, they definitely like the silence for Timbersaw as well. Yeah, that that the Puck will be able to offer. It'll you know, pretty much nullify him down, so it definitely helps with that. Um, but they're definitely putting a lot of eggs in the Lycan basket. Remaining. 
They really are. But I guess that's what you have to do. And and, th and this kind of is oh, one of those drafts where it's going to be, let's finish the game early. We have Lycan. We can go late game if necessary, but against Inaga, maybe not. Reserve and against time. whatever else they pick up here, which, you know, I think has to be a carry unless they use the Naga as a carry role or... I mean, it just seems likely that the Naga's made Timbersaw off, Treant, Ancient Apparition, and whatever else they pick up here. And like I said, they could go aggro trialing, but with the Treant Protector, maybe not the best choice. Not a whole lot of lockdown for that, so... Unless they pick something like a Sven. So I think it'll be a defensive tri lane, which will be a pretty good defensive tri lane on top of that. Um, Got a lot sure. of melee here. Verse probably need to get some sort of range carry. I don't know why I'm looking, resulting on something like that. I no, still set the Weaver, but they need some range. I mean, it's a little Sniper. too Five close and clustered. Three. These are easy lasso targets. You Sniper, know, Rana, Morphling, pick something. Alchemist! Another flexible hero. We don't know where the hell he'll go. Yeah, Illidan okay. picked up the Naga, though, so this is a carry Naga. This is core Naga for sure. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Illidan, is he the mid? The mid? I think he plays the mid. I'm not too sure. Um, but on paper here, it's, it's wow, this is really interesting. I like the Treon, now I'm looking at the Treon, it's a bit of a throwback counter to Batrider, I guess. He blinks in there, gets the last one, you just pop the overgrowth and it shuts him down immediately. But then you're stuck with a tree on your team and trying to figure out where he's going to oh, fit into the whole mix. They switch. Ilden, Ilden's generally the farmer. I've seen him go mid before. It looks like, I think this is God playing the Naga Siren. I, I correct me yep. if I'm wrong. Now he's on Now he's on Alchemist, yeah, going to the top lane. So. It is God. Okay, I don't know why they didn't change the names. I wish they would. So God, all right, yeah, so God is going to be on the mid lane Naga Siren. You know what, let's just get into some introductions real quick here. Mm -hmm. On the side of British Pro, you've got Ilden Stormrage. He'll be on the Alchemist up in that top lane, farming out something we haven't seen in some time. Ennis on the Ancient Apparition support, heading up there as well as going to be Jotam on the Treant Protector. Down bottom, Arsart will be on the Tippersaw, and to round it all out, we'll have God, G, will be on the Naga Siren in that mid lane, channeling his inner Artur Bebev. Excellent. And ahead on your radiant side, we have starting up the front here, the Bat Rider lingering in the top rune. It's going to be Seema, the Slayer. And we also have in your mid lane, oh, lovely, has <laughs> Dick Huezquez. Zhik. <laughs> Playing your puck, prominent and strong. He'll take it home for his homeland, his family. The last name he will hopefully carry the name on into true victory. <laughs> Ahead, Ars Zek, playing your disruptor on the dazzle, going right through the jungle. We have last time is a stand in. Last time, last time standing or Ami is the last time standing in, uh, and his name is Ami. Am I? Oh God! Why did you give me this I'm team lock? God I, damn it! I don't. No know. fear on Lycan. Also in your bottom lane. Great start. All right, so <laughs> after that mouthful is done, grabbing the history is going to be Sima. He took a bit of damage. He had to use one of his pooled tangos. He's got boots first, so he's mm, pretty much unkillable in this lane against this lineup. Luckily, there is unstable concoction and chilling touch. I don't know. Maybe they can get a kill here. It's going to be tough, especially when he still has that haste rune. It's about to run out anyways. Mid lane matchup, you can see God is actually going to town here on Haz. Just right-clicking him down, using Riptide as well already. It's really nice because it gives you that armor reduction just to be able to do a bit more damage to the puck. Down in that bottom lane, Howl's going through already. Arsart taking some damage, went for reactive armor level 1, and May taking some damage, dishing it out as well. Arsart's got to be careful. This is a very greedy lineup, right? or gr greedy start for him, I should say. Didn't go for the Timber Chain. Instead, he's just going to get regen from the reactive armor and be a bit tankier, but still. He's got to be careful. So all Dazzle has got to do here, just sit back, you know, and move forward, pelt away in the timber saw. You always can fall back and save yourself, but just lay out the harassment, make that space for Lycan to get that sweet, sweet farm. Mid lane is a ghost. It's going to be classic matchup here. <laughs> Puck going against the Naga. Not something you often see every day, but we can see more over on the NA Dota side. But, uh, yeah, just finish your tango early. Is she bottle? Yeah, she is bottle coring right off the bat. So early certificate farm for herself. How do you feel about the matchup in general? I would just feel that it's you're not going to be taking this puck down. Uh, the puck has is he's slippery and it's going to be tough to get him low enough to kill him. Especially gets in a riptide is the only thing you can really do to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, and puck won't die, but the harass is good because puck's very squishy and riptide does a, a ton of damage. So you've got to be careful in that regard. Heading up top, NS does have Chilling Touch, but nowhere near is Triant Protector. Looks like he's jungling right now as Triant, or stacking, it looks like. I think he's going to stack these camps up so that later on, maybe Ilda can just use his Acid Prey to take these down. Um, and we see God, he's bottle crowing already, and that's actually not a huge surprise. I mean, the fact that this is happening is no surprise. I mean, if, you've, if you're a veteran to, you know, Naga mid, if you've seen it before, you're just going to see bottle crowing for days. 
And already he has 11 last hits because of that. He'll just spam Riptide as much as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. And he'll use the Crow as long as possible. And his team has to be okay with that because they won't be able to get the, the bottle or, excuse me, the Crow. And that's fine because they don't really need it for much. So um, there is going to be a pause. Yay. You know what? What is rushing Dota, though, Ma, and the whole thing today? What is it without pauses? What is it? We need a moment to relax and just breathe and just be like, whoa. Maybe that was a nice little dumb moment. Let's reflect now, Ma. Let's, maybe you know? they're thinking about the cash. They're like, man, these guys are working hard. Better let them pause and have a bit of a break. Just, yep. get, you know? All right, let's 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 take in this whole game so far. A moment of re reflection brought to you by this glorious pause. I'm, I'm going into the, um, whatchamacallit, the free cam mode, the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Oh. Uh, the showcase? Cinematic. Yeah, that's the one. I'm looking at Trim right now. He's looking pretty swagger. Yeah, he's blending in with the trees rather well. Unfortunately, these trees don't have any leaves on them, so... Just stay in the trees, though. That's what's important. Yeah, I mean, like... He's just, like, next to all of his brethren, and all they're, like, all dead, and he's like, No! My friends! Why? Alright, that's enough of that. We're back in the game. Uh, Moment of reflection over here as we continue things out, but the CS King to start things up is this uh, old-school throwback Alchemist Core here. And I'm liking it. It's coming back. Is this going to be a comeback as well? Have we seen Batrider and Wisp come back from uh, early TI3 kind of days? Alchemist? Maybe. I, I, maybe it's just Illidan wanting to play the hero. Maybe they're experimenting. I'd say it's very early to say something like, he's back! And he's certainly still good. I mean, Chemical Rage is, is still ridiculous. You're not getting like a ton of health, obviously, but it's still going to give you regen like no other. And your damage is not bad as well if you can get the items for it. I prefer to see him in a support role even now because I think it's still strong. But, I mean, it works nonetheless, so... I don't know. I think in this lineup as well, when they have no real lockdown on their supports, they can be a bit greedier and pick up the Alchemist, and he has Gribble's Greed, so... No one's gonna farm faster than him. I mean... Even if Lycan's pushing it on towers, you're not gonna have Gribble's Greed to help it, help you out there, so... Yeah. No, no, absolutely agree. My Sarmer's gonna help, though. My Sarmer's gonna help. I would... Oh, yeah. I wonder if I'm gonna see a Medallion come up on, uh... Tree on Protector or something like that, just to get a little more of that delicious Minus Armor synergy happening. Um, I was taking a moment to look over the offlane battle from both teams, and both of them yet to pick up a CS. I can imagine that they're both having a hard times here facing these very, you know, aggressive style tri lanes. Yeah, Batrider actually is doing a wor having a worse time. He's getting zoned out pretty hard, which is surprising. Arsard is tanky enough where he can stay in the lane and get temper chain away. He's also got his reactive armor. And luckily the wave's actually pushed in right now. He's, he can just get some farm here as well. Batrider doesn't have that luxury. He's actually going to head to the jungle now. So they, they've sacked this off lane for the Alchemist altogether. And, and that's something I haven't seen a lot of recently. It, it like kind of mm -hmm. used to happen in the last patch a lot. But with yeah. Illidan here now, I mean, he is unopposed free farm. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised to see if he went a Midas here, or even a Battle Fury, or both. The Fear build. Midas it's also Fury. just important, though, that Bat needs to get his own set of farm and his Blink Dagger online. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so he's one of those few heroes that has the option to roll over into the jungle and get a, a you know, a, a really significant amount of farm there. He he probably won't be seeing a lot of threat from the other teams. So he's happy to kind of move over here and just kind of get his blink going at least. And no, it's gonna, you know, I know you're sacrificing a lot of farm right now over to the alchemist, but he needs to get that blink. Yeah. I absolutely agree. I think Blink is probably your, the most critical thing for them right now. And it, it will be done, but not as nearly as fast as you'd like to see it for Batrider. Right now, he's just going to be in the jungle for a bit. Maybe buy something and then head back, back up to the top lane as he's pushing it now. It looks to be the case. Arsar getting caught out. Thunderstrike's going to go. There's the Poison Touch as well. Gets glimpsed back in. Is this going to be first blood here? He's got Timber Chain ready to go. He's going to use it. A lot of damage going in along the way. They might die for this. No, he'll survive. He's got a stick. He can stick up to save his life if necessary. He'll survive without it. Nice play coming out just yeah. to make sure he lives, so not enough no, damage Arsar, there. Arsar showing why Timbersaw is still a great offlaner, man. You can take a beating like that and the full nice Please glimpse all the way back, but still able top to get away with a nicely placed uh, Timber Chain. God, and Snare is up now. Can they get this kill? Riptide doing a lot of damage. The armor reduction, that's first blood. Going for God, that's the worst thing you can do. Give Anaga first blood. He's up to 1,300 gold right now. He can even start going towards his relic, maybe pick up an early Midas. Who knows? That's a big pickup for Naga, though. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's going to make things even easier. I mean, this is going to be pretty much the dominance in the late game, and you're already giving her a head start on that. And now level 6, the Puck and her are both level 6 here. So I'm really curious to see if they're going to pull the trigger on something now that she has Dream Coil online and available. But you always have a song also to fall back on. This yeah. is part of the reason why Naga is just such a pain in the ass down the road. You just simply hit that R button and TP out of any danger. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, yeah, it's just resetting fights is going to be huge. Song up, get in position for that overgrowth coming out from the Tram Protector, and you're in a position to start taking the team fight because then, then your Timber Saw just goes to town on people, and I like the fact that it synergizes in that fashion. Uh, the one problem in that VP haven't really been doing much about is No Fear and his farm. He, he's, he's getting free farm. Luckily, Alchemist is leading the way in CS, but No Fear is not doing too badly himself. He's got 29 last hits right now, 10 denies. He's sitting on Ring of Regen, Ring of Basilius. He's very close to his Vlads. If he wants to buy it outright, he can. Ilden sitting on phase now, not going to go for that Midas, not going to go for the Battle Fury, at least not right now. He's going to get the phase first, be able to fight if necessary. Tide going through. God, Bottle Crowing again. And he's up to 1,700 gold now. He's looking for the rune for the 6-minute. Hasn't spawned yet. Will soon. And, uh... Just good guy go. tree hanging out in the jungle. Just using the living armor when necessary. Pulling stacks. Getting things going. Just slow pacing himself through the game. Not really committing to anything too much just yet. Just kind of playing it safe for his team. And delaying the game out for this Naga to really get to her own. And even the Alchemist. Just so much late game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Yeah, he, the the, the Trent's actually getting a lot of levels in the jungle too, which is surprising to me, but now they're going to take these stacks here for Illidan. You can see the Firefly came through from the Batrider, not able to do much to stop this. NS and Illidan are going to be able to grab a lot of experience and gold from this. Chemical Rage is already up for Illidan right now. He's level 6, whereas the Lycan, he's level 6 as well. The supports are a bit underleveled. I guess the Dazzle's not level 3 right now, so he's not too far behind. He's got a double damage room right now. Just sitting down here. They've zoned out the Tipper Saw pretty effectively. The Bat Rider is now at level 4, so the Bat Rider's back into it as well. Um, he's sitting on what seems to be 13 CS with 500 gold. His Tranquils are done at least, at the very least. Naga Siren pushing out the Puck out of the lane. The Puck actually, I think, had to go back home. So, I, I mean, Naga has, for all intents and purposes, won this lane, maybe? I don't know. With the first blood, it definitely yeah, helps. I yeah. agree. Um... Man, I'm just like, I was taking a moment to gander over Lycan here, no fear, you know, finally does pick up the Vlads in a fair amount of time. You know, being on the Radiant side, it makes it a little more tricky if you want to try to sneak in an early roast, so hopefully maybe he gets a smoke tossed his way. It definitely would be very helpful to get that going sooner than later. Yeah, I'd agree with you. I think, I think honestly, he could, I mean, it's going to be, t yeah, it's going to be tough for him to get into Roche. I think they have to get a couple pickoffs before they can get into the Roche pit with no fear. Smoking up might be doable, but like he would need some help, I think. Just I think they would also recognize if he just left the lane. Right yeah, now, it's like just him doing like, it. Oh. They're like, well, he's not getting that free farm, but maybe if they find a good strong push, like they're they have like two stacks of creeps. It looks like pushing here. If they can get the space and opportunity, they won't see him going for. But go. he is going for this kill. Pops the ult. Nice glimpse back. Catches him out with the help oh. of the wall. We'll trap him in. Thunder strike. Ooh, the magic wand to temporary save him. But here we go. One last uh, right click coming in. No fear. Picks up the kill. Yeah, he missed that Timber Chain. Had he hit the Timber Chain, he probably lives, so unfortunately misses it. And a kill going to No Fear right now, plus a Tier 1 Tower. It's going to get fortified, but there's no way they're going to defend this, I think. If God's not going to rotate until he's got, like, 20 minutes of farm. I, I Honestly, I don't expect to see God doing anything until he's, like, at least got two items. That's just what Nagas do. Meanwhile, Alchemist probably won't do much either. He'll continue to yeah. farm. Um, he's already got a Sanj, so SNY might be the choice here, or even a Halberd coming out. Arsart going to back his way out of there. They're going for two here in this bottom lane. We've seen this before. This kind of pushing strategy happened in the last patch. It's continued to happen again right now. No Fear working on this tier two tower. It's going to fall. They'll acid spray up, but there's no way they're going to defend this. No Fear going to howl, but he's got no like an ult right now. Puck's here as well just to make sure they secure any fight going that way. Meanwhile, God, let's head back to the jungle or the lane. He's got a farm. They just gonna accept that they might lose all of their towers. It might happen. It could even happen as early as like 15 minutes, 20 minutes in. They'll probably have no more towers left, but their only option is to wait it out for Naga to really be a problem. Once she gets that radiance and stuff, she can prevent pushes on her own with just some, you know, a few illusions out there to do it. Yeah. So, but you can't sacrifice trying to go over and save a couple of towers and pull away from that farm. So she's I, not gonna participate. Alchemist is probably gonna be the same story too. I agree. I mean, Alchemist did rotate over to try to do something, but it was clear that you know, they couldn't do anything. I mean, yeah, God's not going to come out of the jungle or out of the mid lane or out of farming mode for quite some time, and I agree with you. That's the right choice. I mean, he's already 1,000 gold away from his relic, and that means maybe a 15, 16 minute radiance, I think, if he's lucky. And that'll be a really good time for that item. You usually see it about 18 minutes. That's like a good timing for that item, but like 16 minutes is disgustingly good. And a lot of that is because of first blood in the farm that he did get in the mid lane, so. 
Yep, and they know that. I think they know that. Ahead Gaming know that the Naga is going to need to farm and focus on farming. And how they just handed over the whole bottom lane, they know that they'll keep doing that. Now they have Ice Blast to kind of slow them down a little bit, which does help from the Ancient Apparition. But all in all, they're going to probably go for the pushes very, very quickly here before Naga has the opportunity to get that Radiance up. Yeah. You know, Taking I out the mid tower will also help them be able to get that Roche, too. Yeah, yeah, that'll give them. Uh, I'd say they need to get the, maybe the tier two mid to get Roche as well. If they can push down mid like they did the bottom lane, and you're absolutely right. I mean, they know they can push down. They have a window of opportunity to do so. And the question is, are they going to do it? The Ice Blast did push them back, like you mentioned. So now it comes down to just finding opportunities, finding openings. And, and instead of pushing down the mid lane, they're going to go top and they're going to try to find a fight maybe on Illidan. So we'll see if they go. There's going to be the Thunderstrike going, doing some damage, no glimpse just yet. He's walking in the same location to make sure he doesn't get glimpsed back. Charging the Unstable Concoction, it's going to fly, taking some damage to Zarzek. There's going to be the ultimate use for the Lycan. Illidan taking a lot of damage. He's lost it up. Not the best trade in the world. Four heroes up to the top lane, maybe even five for a head gaming to try to get something done here. And as Getting chased down, the right click from up here, too much damage, double kill for the Lycan. Goodness gracious, that's a disgusting amount of damage coming through for that team. They gotta withstand, man. They gotta withstand, they know they're gonna be losing some kills, some supports, and some towers here. They're pushing strong in the mid lane, they gotta get some towers down themselves, if, if at all possible. Quickly ripped hiding down the creeps, and just trying to get some money going her way. Yeah. Get that radiance. Yeah, and G's actually doing a nice job of pushing down these towers. They're not going to die, I think, this time around. They have a fortification, and they're looking like they want to defend. No Lycan just yet. He might be able to TP in, however. Jotam's going to come back, hit the tower some more. Necro level 1 is done. Static Storm going through a little bit too late. Ice Bass, long range. Might make Arzek shatter here. Ame in some trouble as well. No, he's not going to shatter. Is he he's taking damage? Potentially, no. It no. looks like he wasn't taking it from the song. They could have killed him. No, the glimpse back. G in trouble. He can't buy his relic. He might be in some trouble. Flame Break, oh. there go. The overgrowth. He's not going to live. Not going to live. He's down for 33 seconds as well. And uh, he actually didn't lose any money, really. He shouldn't have, uh, I don't know, the song was a bit questionable there because, yeah. like we pointed out, Disruptor wasn't taking any more of that Ice Blast damage at all. It was just wasting the duration of time, almost saving him. So she probably could have delayed it a little bit further before it was absolutely necessary to call out the song. So unfortunately they handed that one over. It looks like she, no, she lost a little bit of gold, but she lost that tower gold that she was working so hard for. Yeah, but that's fine. I mean, like, he knows he can buy his relic as soon as he's up now. And now it still is on point for, like, a 15, 16 minute radiance, I think. Um, it's going to be close, I think. SNY is done for Illidan right now, so he's going to be a tankier. He's got main chances as well, uh, which is really nice. A lot of people forget about that with SNY. Just a bit of an extra slow is really nice to have. Um, and they're going to back off from the top tier 1 tower. They don't need to go for this. So Illidan's going to say, okay, we're done here, I think. Let's back off. Let's farm the jungle. Uh, G is back live. He's in the jungle right now. As you can see, farming himself. The relic is done. It came from him on the courier. He's got to be careful, though. The rest of the rating team is here. Yep, they want to take down these last couple of towers, or at least get the final tier one on the top lane. Oh no, the top tier one still stays in the mid lane, surprisingly. It looks like they took a bit of a, bit of a pause here from their heavy push in the recent outcome of battle they had. But top lane, they're going to continue at it, which is probably the best the idea for them. Yeah. yeah, the good thing is there is that living armor for Redis Pro, but it's not going to do much against this push. It just falls so very quickly. Radiance While this is happening, Virtus Pro is going to try to get something done at the tier Radiance 2 mid lane. Tower. Fortification, Ice Blast is going to come through nicely timed, and that might make him push back and kind of question whether they want to defend that tier 2 tower. Illidan getting pushed back himself. TP coming through on the side. Glyphs is going to go. Static Storm, Kinetic Field. He is in trouble. He's got Chemical Rage healing him back up, but he is going to fall. It looks like one more right click. Not even necessary. Creeps get the kill there. Still chasing Kasima. Chakra misses up. There's the last one going through on NS. Nice shallow grave as well. They're turning around. Virtus Pro in trouble. They're going to lose a couple. Not going to lose Arsar just yet. He's living armored right now. Timber Chain's still available. They're not going to chase any further. All while that's happening, G in the top lane. Dishing out some damage to the puck will back away. TPing through is going to be the Trant Protector to help out with overgrowth if necessary. But the end of the engagement has come and gone. Yeah, um... That was a bit unnecessary. They didn't need to be over that far. They handed over, you know, Illidan, which is not great. A good couple of kills just to kind of give them even more of the snowball factor in the mid-game. You don't want them to not only take the towers and then be... You know, once Naga gets online, you don't want all of Team of Head to be just so crazy farmed that they could just continuously lock her down and take care of her. So they need to be very cautious and careful. Just, like, the loud... Naga to get to that point. I mean, I just can't emphasize that enough. Yeah, it's no, it's going to definitely be in Naga's hands. You're, you're definitely right. I mean, it's just 
We've seen it time and time again. How many times, especially like if you're better into pub games, I mean, like you, I'm sure many of you who are watching just know how, how much a Naka can carry if she goes mid. I'm not sure like if you've played with that, but it's a hero that can certainly take over the game just because of how good you can farm with it. Radiance into the jungle, just take like creep camp after creep camp and just push wave after wave. Getting bots at some point is going to be super necessary. You can see he went brown boots. He's going to rush the Radiance, maybe go bots later, I'd imagine. And then, who knows what items will pick up after the raids. The though. thing is, what they should have done, and this is probably one of the rare moments that I would ever say this, is that they should have not gotten Tree, they should have gotten Coddle for this kind of game. This is one of the very rare games mod, and I know it just seems convenient and funny, but they should have got a Coddle. This is like a PL style Naga who does it best. I mean, it's just, you want to be able to take her all around the map to get her that reliable farm, and his blast is just perfect anti-push and prevents them from getting those easy pushes in. It's one of the rare times, but he's one of the best at delaying out a game, preventing pushes, and moving your carry around the map to get far. I'd agree with that, actually. And almost like a PL kind of Coddle thing that we used to see. Um, mm -hmm. It would work in the same way. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The problem is just there's no lockdown that Coddle provides other than the mana leak. And, but in this the tree is good works. for the counter to bat, too. That's exactly. The thing. And then are you willing to sacrifice nice. the Ancient Apparition instead? I don't know. Nay, it's too good to sacrifice, I think. That hero is just strong as hell. But uh, yeah. we've had no fear disconnect for a bit. And Moment of reflection again. Yes. Absolutely. Jotam with his brethren in the trees here. He's actually like in the spot where there's no tree. He actually cut the tree down and is standing there. It's actually kind of nice to see that. I'm a tree. Hello. Can I draw on the map? When? No, I can't. Dang. Not when you're in showcase mode, but it's still neat. Looks like we're good to go. So we'll back out of showcase mode and <laughs> move along. Some all chat being thrown out in capital letters. Yes, I assume they're a bit aggressive with these terms that I do not understand, or I'm very hammered and can't read properly. Wow, you're very hammered. It's what? 2.30 in the morning. Uh, not in the morning, jeez. In the afternoon. I'm very hammered. Goodness gracious, so. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 14 minutes in. 14.30, in fact. Seems to be some issues with maybe some lag, some ping issues. I'm not quite sure. Pause is happening all over the place. Well, we can, we can um, touch base about the previous match we saw. We did see, you know, Aware come out on top for the first series that happened in Tech Labs. The Tech Labs series, of course. A lot of money at stake. Mo How much money? How much 20, cash prize money? $20,000. That's, that's a lot of that's a lot of nerd gear. It is. It is quite a bit of nerd gear. Some of these people can buy new computers, can buy new cars, mm -hmm. can buy a lot of stuff. New computers, emphasis on the new computers. All right, I understood. I understood that phrase from No Fear. Um, unless that's also a Russian phrase, but you know, we're just we're gonna let that go. Um, gee, okay. okay. It was. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, Everyone, awesome. give it up for Arsart from uh, what is it? Free to play. Give it up for Arsart. We saw him in there. Yep, that's true. Uh oh. We are with a TI champion today, folks. All right, just mind you. That's true. Well, no, art, that was art style. Art Sart wasn't a TI champion. Art Sart was, uh... Oh, yeah. whoops. Yeah, they're two different people. Well, Dyer's middle state. tower is under Oh, okay. well, everyone just ignore me. Please. Okay, dude. Game's actually going, so... Yeah, it is. We can talk about that. That's a, that's a thing now. Art Sart is... Speaking of him, he's backing off. He actually has a point booster now, so he's getting ever so close to that bloodstone. Um, we've seen people backtrack for other things, but there's no... I mean, you could go for a link into this game against the lasso, like we saw in the last game from uh, Aware. But that's not going to be the case, I think. I think he's okay with just having a Bloodstone and being focused down. Just the Bloodstone's going to be really nice for him and his team to have. So he'll get to that in so, at some point. Um, Necro 2 now done for the Lycan. The pressure is starting to mount, I think, for Verdi's Pro to do something, or at least get a Radiance and get some more farm. And here's here's what I think my is priority number one for ahead. Let's go ahead and get this mere, mid tier one tower down and then get that roach. I think that's gotta be the next objective. Yeah, I, I, I Yeah, I'd agree with you. Um maybe even the tier two, if you really want to feel comfortable about roaching, but the tier one for sure. They, they need to get that done before they can rush on. Um G, he has his radiance, and guess what time it is? It's 16 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Right on with that timing. Oh, man. All right, so radiance is done. He'll head into the jungle now, get maybe his either his, his 
bots or or akin to a mant style, maybe infusible blade, maybe Trask. I mean, there's a lot of choices here in terms of items for the Naga Siren. The unfortunate thing is, no fear doesn't really care. Last is going to go in on our right now in that mid lane. They're going to go to town and him. He is blown up. The Necro to reuse the medallion as well. Ice Blast flying through. That is missing on everybody. Our Zek gets the debuff, but not really much else other than that. And uh, they'll work on the tier one tower. And like you said, tier one tower, maybe the Roche after this. That'd be nice to have. I mean, we do fancy us now a Radiance Naga on the field. So, and they still have a couple more towers they have to you know, bull rush their way through. By that point, Naga should have a secondary item ready to go. And as, at that point, is it Naga time to like really fight it? Meanwhile, she's just gonna casually sing the song of go the hell away, I'm gonna get out of here with baby TP or just walk. I think she'll walk. Someone got glimpsed though. Poor NS is gonna be uh, a casualty of war here. Oh, that ice blast left something to be desired, my friend. I'm, I'm sorry about that one. And the tower got denied as well. So everything that could go wrong, except for obviously Naga dying, did go wrong. He does have a Midas, though, so at least Ennis has that. Yep. Well, now it just comes down to, will she inherit enough farm to stand the hill before they want to take the racks and fight this one out? Already throwing out the illusions, proper associated farm all over the map, making things easier with the help of the living armor, of course, coming out from that tree. But uh, we'll see. Objective next. Looks like uh, we already have the Lycanthrope dancing around the top lane, looking to push in possibly this uh, Tier 2 tower. Yeah. You know, they're going to look for this Tier 2 tower right now, and they don't have actually enough here right now. They have all of their team backed off, so they're probably going to focus on farming the jungle and maybe leaving it, or maybe getting the team back up there. But I'd imagine that they'll just yeah. Actually, they're smoking right now. You have Sima, the Bat Rider, going to probably be initiating first here with the Smoke of Deceit gank coming through. Trent's not in the best place, and they're actually walking right towards him. Nature's guys. I hope they. Oh, oh my God! Next level, Jotam. You've got to be kidding me. That's awesome. That's the best thing. I don't think any of them were carrying detection. No. Nope. No, they were not carrying detection. Jotham's like, secret agent, man. Oh, goodness gracious. That's awesome. He gets a nice little aggressive board for uh, himself on the way yeah, out. Yeah, that's so true. Very nice. His mission accomplished. He can leave now. He actually has a TP if he needs it. And he might need a TP back to this Choo Choo Tower mid because it looks like there's going to be some aggression there. They're roaming right around the Roche Pit in the Ancient Stack. No Fear's going to spot it with, the, of course, the Wolves. See what's going up there. If there's any stacking, there isn't. Uh, no Warden coming out from either of them. They have Sentries finally for the Disruptor, which is great, but they needed those a minute ago. Um, continuing to farm away. Looking at the last hits right now, Illidan is still at the leaderboard with uh, 140 right now. Sinjin Yasha. Yeah. Sinjin Yasha, huh? That's yeah. pretty intriguing. I like hmm. that item. A lot, actually. Oh, Jotam. You're not going to be able to kill him, silly, back up. Still, though, the mid lane seems to be where the action's converging, at least for the time being. Um, our Naga, Naga camera. Farming still. I mean, just, yeah, Minimap just clearing out the whole jungle through the top lane as well. Inheriting a lot of farm. She's going to slowly creep her way up on the net worth. Then, meanwhile, mid lane, Lasso out and Timber pull out the weave. It doesn't matter. Quickly burst it apart and taken down. Now, the nice little glimpse back on Illidan, but Illidan will be able to get away from this one. So they do hand over an easy trade. More Fisticuffs actually coming out. Oh man, A trying to burst down Dazzle. Desperate Shallowgrave. Can he get it off in time? It's probably only level one. He's Is he disconnected? <laughs> he's disconnected. They forced staff to save him or something. He blinks forward and uh, gets oh, stunned. Now he's awake. Wow. What was. Yep. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing man fighting right in the middle of the lane? But good good guy teammate force staffs him away from any danger and uh they'll pause though. They're not gonna pause right now, they're just gonna let him back up. And that's surprising. They're trying to go on God here. There's no lasso. Flame break doing a bit of damage, glimpse back as well. Song of the Siren's gonna go. TP out. Yeah, just TP from God. There it's gonna be tough to gank him. He's got level two song right now. It's only on cooldown for you know two minutes, so it's going to be tough. Amib gets back into the game. Boots of Travel now done for the Naga Siren. So that's exactly what I was talking about the next item. Meanwhile, look at Jotam down there in the bottom lane. Holy crap, he's working hard on this. Ice Blast is going to go. It's going to push it even quicker. There's nobody there to get hit by. Basher's done for the Lycan, however, and that's actually pretty scary. Still no treads, though. Maybe we should focus on getting those. I'm not sure, though. I mean, tree has an easy job. It's just step away, get your levels, get what you need going. You hit that R button when Bat jumps in and makes something happen. And then, uh, just in the meantime, throw out some uh, living armors to us. Yeah, honestly, and 
Uh, that's one of the reasons why I actually love that hero. I mean, he's just fun and easy to play. There's a little bit of a... You, you can be a bit more aggressive with a bit of a skill cap. To, to a certain extent, but yeah, they're going to head to Roche. However, these Lycan Wolves are going to scout it out. And I'm having flashbacks of the Fnatic game. Fnatic C9 game from, I believe it was yesterday. Oh boy. Those Lycan Wolves getting the Roche steals all day, every day. Blink, Lasso, Illidan. Oh no, he is in trouble. Kinetic Field, Thunderstrike already went. There's the Kinetic Field. Chemical Rage keeping him alive. There's the Static Storm. Unstable Concoction not going to help him out in this scenario. Is he going to live? Yes, but just barely. Ice Blast coming through. There's the Overgrowth. Dream Coil on Jotam. Glimpse back. Arzek in some trouble here. Might shatter, may not. They'll get the kill on the Timbersaw. There is a shatter on the Disruptor. Jotam getting chased away. He has DD, but that's not going to help him survive. No fear with the Bash going to town. Blink forward. Seema looking to take him down as well, and they'll get the kill. Meanwhile, the Tier 2 Tower following. That's God doing work, man. Man, that convenient necro book. Just tree. What are you gonna do? You gonna go in viz? Yeah, yeah, right, buddy. It just it works out so nicely in their favor. Now he's gonna just use the rest of the book to move in the mid. Throws out the medallion. Go for the quick rush. But Naga, dirty little rat, pushing into the top lane. TP's out. Yeah, actually did some damage to that tier three tower. Got the tier two when that all was all said and done. So. While they're getting kills, they're taking objectives for Virtus Probe. Not that head is it. They do grab the Aegis right now. No fear with an Aegis is very scary at this point in time. But, you know, No Fear is getting to the point where he's only going to get so farmed. And Abyssal Blade, a BKB, Treads even might be the extent of his farm. Lycan can get a little bit more farm than that. But honestly, Naga's going to be your hard carry this game for Virtus Pro. Um, Alchemist hasn't really been doing much. He has an Assault Cross, though. His BKB is going to be next, I'd imagine, unless he wants to go for Halberd. But that'd be interesting to see that choice. Whereas the support might get the Halberd instead of him. I think someone should build it, though, potentially. Um... Yeah. I'm going to make my own amateur bold claim that if this game goes past 35 minutes, the people pretty much have it in the bag. That's my own bold pop. I just feel like at that point, the Alchemist and the Naga will have plenty to contest against whatever the Lycanthrope will bring forward. Yeah. But if they manage to lose a Rax, and then like they could just push through and down the mid or take a couple of Rax, then they definitely would be able to stand up. I, I, I'd honestly agree with that, I think. Virtus Pro, yeah, and... I'd say if they don't, I mean, even with a set of racks down, Virtus Pro are going to be fine, I think, w without one. As long as not continues to get farm. And, and it's not even like top the supports are starving. Attack. Yes, the Triant doesn't have much, but then you look at, I mean, the Ancient Apparition, he has a Midas, so even if he doesn't have much now, he's still getting stuff longer. However, he's going to die, it looks like, NS. Oh, the Song of the Siren, though! TP out! Everybody TP, no, he stunned himself! No, they want to fight this! God's here, he's ready to go right now. This might not be their fight. Static Storm's on the ground. Big kill onto this Rutger. There's a quick pause from the Dazzle. Jesus um, Christ. The hype is going, oh, 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 and then someone punches you right in the groin. You're just like, ah, with the pause. What is that? But, uh, you know, it happens. People disconnect, uh, as we saw today. Ma, have we watched more pauses or gameplay today? What do you think? I, I'd say during the Aware gaming, it was definitely more gameplay, but... At this point, this game is more pause than it is games, for sure. It's just, it's not even Dota at this point. Okay, so let's let's analyze this situation. This is really important. We need to discuss yes, what's is. happening. Yes, it is. Absolutely. NS is going to die um, to something. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but he's going to die to something, I'm pretty sure. There's no way he's going to stay alive. Um, yeah, he's out. G and, and uh, the Alchemist are both at full health, and they're about to exit the Static Storm that you can clearly see here. They're heading towards the Puck, who has no orb. He's got no Blink Dagger. There's Lasso that hasn't been used yet from Sima. He's already blinked in. He's already four-staffed. So he's actually not even close to the fight right now, unless he's in the middle of his four-staff animation. And Amea is kind of disconnected with everybody. While that's all happening, Lycan's not there. He can run there, but he'll get to the fight light. So here's what's going to happen. Jotam's going to overgrowth, I think. They're going to clean up these last two heroes. Ilden and G are going to clean these guys up. Amea's going to try to go to the other way, but Arsar probably can pick him off. I just don't see this fight going a head's way at all, but I've been wrong before. No, I agree. No fears of a little too far. Bat has lasso, but if he tries to go for it, he'll just pull out the overgrowth. Meanwhile, he does get to flame break and quickly takes down AA, but nope. It's like that. Everyone calls it quits and leaves. That 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 did not go the way I was... <laughs> you were just like getting into it. Like, okay, what's going to probably happen here? Is that Nagasai going to jump there and hit that guy? He's going to hop over there. Blink is going to get there, and then the, it starts up, and they're like, eh, we're dead. Like, one kill... I guess that just goes to show you that you can never really predict Dota. Um, 
And I don't know why I even tried. <laughs> it just looked too good to be true. Like, okay, it's going to happen. The last is coming. <laughs> the overgrowth to follow. Shallow Grave's also available. And the weave. And no, no, we're done. <laughs> it's like I look like an idiot now. You're like, oh. you're like, I've been wrong before. And I am wrong again. Yeah, sadly. I'm wrong again. Meanwhile, Lasso catching on Timber saw Flame Break to fly. Can he get away? The stacks. Everything he can, the living armor from his allies. He makes it to his team's safety, and they will defend their comrade in need. And hopefully, No Fear doesn't get caught out here and will end up retreating. So after that, I guess, anticlimactic situation, they get a kill, they get out. The gold lead is only 1,000 now for head gaming. The experience lead, they have about 4,000 there. Boots of travel for No Fear. Okay, it's going to be one of those games. All right. Rat Dota, baby. Yeah, sure. Which rat is better? And it's definitely Naga, at least I would say. Naga's going for a heart. Next has the Reaver up and ready to go. So just needs a good booster and the recipe, and then boom, that Naga is... This is where Disruptor trouble. hates his life. Just You're going against these kind of illusions. You can't even take them down yourself. You're just... You're like, gonna, I, I, at some point, yeah. if there's like a Mansa or a Diffusal, you're probably going to die to those illusions. Like it's just You're just like, do I have to glimpse this illusion <laughs> just, just to just save to myself? Alive. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, gotten, it's gotten to that point. I think it's definitely gotten to that point. Um, but I, we keep saying, like, is there any way they can win if it goes late enough? Because, like, Naga's not at the point where she's doing all that much, nor is Alchemist. But, like, if you catch the Naga out later on, can you get a kill? And, and is that going to be enough to get to win the game? I'm not sure. Like, these are the questions. They are questions, but if I was the one to give answers, I would say that Virtus Pro are slowly approaching the point where they're going to have this one in the bag. Yeah, I mean, they mass. need to push down these lanes, and there's still external towers standing. Like, by now, you would hope that they have been nearly breaking the base with this kind of lineup, but at least I, I would think so. But now, you know, Alchemist has an AC, so much sweet armor. Like, Nog is building into her next core item, which is the heart. Pretty much complete here. <laughs> nearly will be complete within the next minute. And it's just absurd. Lycan won't be able to stand up to this. His wear form will only last so long. Yeah, but the thing is, though, even though Virtus Pro are getting items, it's not like ahead aren't getting items. There's a scythe up now on the puck, which is really nice. I mean, we've talked about No Fear time and time again, even the BKB very soon for Batrider here, but I don't know, man. I just don't know if, that's, if this is the case. So if it's the case where ahead are going to be able to take this game late. 16,000 net worth. It's about tied between the Alchemist and the Lycan. Once again, you talked about G coming through and, and kind of exceeding everyone else, and that'll happen soon. 2,000 gold in the bank. The heart is pretty much done for G at this point. Uh, maybe a fight happening. And Mies here, down bottom, Dream Coil, Ilden in some trouble. There's the Static Storm as well. He's getting Living Armored. He's going to town on the puck. BKB is up and ready. Now, Zerk in some trouble here. He's going to get hit, down, bashed up, unstable, and ensnared. He's gone. Me? Oh boy, you are you are one dead dazzle, my friend. But here comes No Fear. He's gonna try to turn the tides of battle. Chakra going through. There's a nice shallow grave. Amis on the high ground, however. Timber chain coming. No fear still wants to fight. Unstable concoction. No chemical rage left. Amis still alive. Shadow waving through our start. Medai taking a ton of damage. He will suicide. He'll back off. TP coming through from Atlantis. First hit bash. No. No Fear can't get it done. While this is happening, G still farming away. No fear yep. only gets one kill there, and it was a suicide. Yep, all that, and you didn't even have Naga. Naga, that bitch, just farming up the top lane, pushing in like a rat. Just That just goes to show that even if they needed her, like it, would, it wouldn't be any good. I think Virtus Pro, I mean, you may look at the kills right now and say it's 13 to 6, but Virtus Pro have this, have this game. Yeah, they're feeling pretty confident right now. I mean, they have a lot of space here. They still actually have a tier 2 tower top, so the pressure that should have been there from the beginning from ahead isn't really there i mean they're they're just not they're not pressuring i think the right points they're leaving that tier two tower they're letting naga kind of make his home in the top lane now that his heart is done like what can you really do against this hero there's going to be more damage i mean even without even without any damaging items look how much damage that puck took from illusions alone like he was getting wrecked getting pummeled even. now imagine getting her in the fights involved you got an acid spray yeah. already out like the minus armor the riptide Everything. It's just crazy. Did they get the medallion? No, they didn't get that. I, I still think medallion would be just a nice pickup for them. But it's like a 29 minute, that, 29 minute medallion. Just a casual. I just, I don't know. Just casual. Just because you know you're going to try to rip apart the lichen. So yeah. if you get the medallion on with the acid spray yeah. and everything else, the riptide, he's done. Yeah, that's true. I, I wouldn't mind it. I mean, no fear's got a medallion. 
You gotta even up the score when we're dying. For when we're dying. Yeah. Do people, like, not ever build mechs anymore? Like, what, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, we just don't think it's a good item. Just, uh, no. Yeah, this is a bit unusual that, um... I guess they don't really feel it's necessary at this point. They're building up enough survivability on their own. I mean, you have... Um, both Naga now with a heart and the Alchemist with his ultimate, they can bring in a play their own regeneration, but it is what it is. I mean, supports, they might end up falling, but it's going to be the two Titans that will stand and take the, back, the game back for them. The two Juggernauts, the Naga Siren, mm -hmm. the Fear, no Fear, excuse me, Lycan. Yeah, I mean, his Abyssal Blade's going to be done. I mean, he could buy it now if he wanted to. He might go for another item as well. Um, but at this point, with an Abyssal Blade, it'd be really nice to lock down that Naga if he could find the right one out of a string of illusions. But then Alchemist might be a problem in and of itself. Ice Blast misses in that top lane. Arsart being the pushing man down to that bottom lane. And they'll continue onward. Roche is actually up in 47 seconds, which is really nice. Just strange because they just had that Aegis. No fear, obviously, Dyer's doesn't have it anymore. They're gonna howl. They're gonna go for the tier two. Need to top. finally push. Finally, yeah. finally, let's get Radiant's the push going. We need down. to. They'll sneak this tower in. They can still do it pretty quickly here. They're even wasting the time trying to see if they can scout anyone out with the uh, lasso, but they don't want that. VP, we're well aware, like we said before. It's okay. We're going to lose the towers outside. That's fine. That's fine. When they start breaking the base, that's when we might need to buckle down. But in the meantime, we're going to just capitalize on all this farm everywhere else on the map. Yeah, I mean, just, and here come the illusions. Just, just they're, they're, they're oppressing so much. And the just... blast. It's like you're just eating all that damage from the illusions and the radiance and then a riptide, Honestly, and then the blast comes in, you're like, I can't push anymore, I gotta go home. Honestly, the, the Naga Siren illusions are, are like terrorists. They're, they're just terrorists. They just run at people, they terrorize everybody, like, I can't deal with this, oh my god, we're dying. Just like, even the illusions do that much work. There's a Yasha now up in the Naga Siren as well. So, yeah. yeah that's a thing, yeah. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> no, well, let's just keep pushing. I mean, the longer this goes, the the, the door of opportunity is just like a creak. It's just like creaking open. It's, it's like, it's just, yeah, it's closing in. It's going to slam your hand as well. I mean, and, and I think that a head must know about, like, the window of opportunity they have. It's just definitely closing here. So they, they're going to try to be aggressive, I think. In the next couple minutes, they should be. I mean, they, they should try to get a kill, go for Roach. That's exactly what they're doing. They're going on Hilden right now. Static Storm is up. He'll BKB, Chemical Rage. Oh, just going to town to the Batrider. He'll stay alive. Unstable concoction. There's the Shallow Grave. Overgrowth going as well. They'll back off, reset the fight. BKB wasted on Hilden. All the meanwhile, top terrorizing the, the top lane is the Naga Siren. That's it. I mean, that was so morally defeating. That yeah. big old jump. And on the they, Alchemist, and yeah, they clean house, no problem, Dazzle, get out of here. What were you thinking? They both jumped, had a nice setup on the uh, Alchemist, but man, he just pops his ult, and it's like, what the, what do you think you're doing, huh? And he just, like, pops it out and beats the shit out of this, him. This and now he's like, this Disruptor looks good, I want chicken. Beats him down, takes him apart, double kill, this is it. I mean, a head really have to know, like, wow, okay, uh, pretty much we got Lycan, and that's it going for us right now. Yeah. That's absolutely right. I mean... Wait, is that a chicken? Isn't that a raptor that disruptor rides? Or, I don't. Sorry. I mean, wait. Well, I guess it depends on your skin. Oh, he he rides chicken sometimes. Yeah, he's a bird right now, right? I think that's a uh, bird. You know what? You're probably you're probably you know what we're gonna we're gonna do this. Oh, it is a bird. Roshan has thing? fallen. It's a rampant it's a, scaled hunter. It's a poultry. Astride the last of the legendary Actrix. A skilled stormcrafter channels the fury of the storm. So that doesn't give me any information. Well, whatever. I'm I sure. wager it's edible. Anyways. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, scene of the Slayers here. Might get caught up. The unstable Kakashi was ready to go for Illidan. Who got the Aegis? It looks like it was the Naga Siren. Grabbing the Aegis real quick. Top oh, lane. Top Song lane. of the Siren. No fear. Maybe in trouble. Gonna use his ultimate there. And Snare, no mana for it right now. Got mana burn. G in trouble, taking a lot of that damage. There's the overgrowth finally going. No fear is going to get blown up. Getting the kill is Arsart. The mana burn coming out from the Necro did a lot of work on G oh, yeah. He couldn't insane. Lycan shows he can win the one-on-one -on -one fight, but you're never going to get a one-on-one -on -one fight in this no, game. Definitely not. So, and that already shows you. And then there's also an Alchemist in the game. So, uh, this is it. They're going to have to hope for some serious throwage or something coming out from... Uh, they want a Virtus throw. Burst throw. <laughs> ah, yes, that's like my favorite one. It's pretty good. But uh, 
How much of a lead do they have right now, actually? Only 5,000, dipping down to 7,500 right now, and a 2,500 gold, or experience lead. So, you know, there is that opportunity for a head, just if they can win somehow, win one, just one, one team fight, they might be back in it, but... You know, and with the way that also the Dallas has been disconnecting, this has got to be one of those, like, really depressing, like, morally sh morally shattering games. Just, like... Zap! So. Yeah, you're there, and you're like, I can keep them alive for another couple of seconds, but they're still going to fall. Yeah. <laughs> they're pushing in the top lane, and, man, just that questionable pickup, even also the Batrider picking in... Or, yeah, the Batrider picking into a Nog already, but now the Treon, he can't get anything going. Like, he gets a nice lasso here... But look, nothing oh. will come of it. Timber saw, doing a lot of damage. Nice wall, great static storm, and they're making me words. Age Aberration ends up falling. Coil will snap right there. So they're looking to turn back. The orb will fly up, and Naga going to town, slicing and dicing as she moves on through. Here goes the Riptide. Time to man fight on No Fear himself. Alchemist will end up falling here. That Necro book doing serious work. Thunderstrike trying to hold strong. The orb will fly, but all that work for the Aegis. Naga Styron looking to make a return. Puck quickly blinks away and teleports out, and it will be Naga's retreat out as she pops the illusion. But top, it keeps on continuing as Timbersaw will not be able to get away. The sticky knee palm to stack up, and now he'll make a piece. That's what I'm talking about, man. That was the fight ahead needed. They four man, even five man, wiped them there. A lot of the work being done by No Fear. You talked about the Necro book. It was the Necro Archer mana burning, being so aggressive. No Fear is going to back off right now. G can't get there to ensnare too far away, even with six bots. seconds for song. Yeah, but I uh, is he going to chase? It's, it's, it's right so in range. Fast. It's right in range. Is he going to do it? He's going to turn around. He's no. going to turn around. No Fear wants to fight this right now. Ensnare, go for it. He gets it. No Fear is in trouble. The Riptide. The Illusions fall. Song of the Siren can't get it off before the lasso. Maybe in trouble. Might fall here. He's hexed up. G has to survive this. Song. Song. He uses it. Very close to falling. Oh. He'll TP out just in time. G gets the kill. He survives. He leaves. He pieces the hell out of there. You greedy bitch. You scared the hell out of everyone with that one. That but she crazy. did do it. She got it. Nice long from downtown and snare. And then the... Oh, the ridiculous Imbo Illusions cleaning house. Unbelievable. I think the, the Lycan wanted to force out the um, the song, and that's why he backed up and turned around. But then he realized he was going to get ensnared, and at that point he's like, shit. So, that's just my theory anyway. Nope, it's a great theory, Mott. 100% back you on that one. Thank you. Were you even mm -hmm. paying attention? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I really was like flabbergasted by that fight and just like comprehending like what good was going to be coming of this and they just kind of threw it away another one and now Naga's so confident it doesn't need to farm everywhere else in the map she's going to hang strong in the mid with the rest of her allies time to take our own towers boys yeah they're going to work on this tier two right now leading the way you have of course the nature's guys up for Jotam right now he's going to lead the way he has no blink so he can't get in there too much but the tier two it doesn't matter it's about to fall just from the illusions alone Illidan will hit it twice and take the last hit on the tower he still has that a blade ready to go bkb now at seven second duration They'll back off the last out of tower gone for a head gaming. Towers are even. The gold graph, not so much. Uh... That's a classic dipping uh, dipping gold graph there, Mott. Classic. <laughs> yep, one of those. <laughs> it certainly was, Coddle Guy. They're going to work on the tier 3 next thing. They push this wave in real quick. Nagasire leading the way. Jotam is backing off. He does have his blink tiger, like I talked about. No fear gets ensnared up. He's in trouble. Ice Blast. They're going to use everything on him. He gets grave, though. He is still alive. The A blade coming in right at the end. No fear about to fall and will. Ame, the next to go down. Now they're going to go to town on everybody else. Disruptor falls, but so does the AA. Unstable concoction about to fly. Nice spaceship coming through the jaunt away as well. And uh, the puck will survive, but three of his compadres will not. So. Oh, man, oh, man, that ensnare. Lycan hates his life right now, man. That ensnare holding him in place, the easy pick up. They tried their best to keep him long, alive as long as possible, but now he's done for. He's down. The only hope right now for head gaming. Flame break. This is all temporary. These, this tower and possibly racks are going to go down. Um, Blink in. Four step out. Hex is trying to, yeah. Dead get away. Puck. That puck is not dead, actually. Lycan's back in and he'll buy back. No fear running at him. They didn't take a set of racks here. Song of the Siren to disengage. But the glyphs! 
G is okay. He doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have any mana. He uses Brutes to travel. Lose your arc. Flame Break gonna push him forward a bit. Dream Quill not there. 17 second cooldown. Jot him. Blink away. Leaving G out to dry. No song for 60 seconds or something like that. Mana boots. Now he can maybe TP. There's the mid style illusions coming out. The mirror images, excuse me. The last are going through. G in some trouble. He's taking a bit of damage. There's the living armor. You can see he's getting a little bit of health from the leechy, but not enough. Gems on the deck. Jotham will fall as well. G's down for 70 seconds. Jotham for 48. They finally get a kill there, and they didn't get the set of racks. They focused too hard on diving. Just to... <laughs> they did what they could. I mean, Batrider blinked in and went away, diverting their attention from the racks, and from there, they just got so bloodthirsty for kills. It was a bit of a let-go there in the whole fight all in all. They should have been more buckled down and trying to take the push. Yeah, that just, they got a little too aggressive, and... Well, what can you say? It's CIS good. I mean, I guess that happens from time to time. But uh, Lycan's going to go ahead and use his ult just to get out of there. And I mean, it's such a short cooldown at level 3. 40 seconds. I mean, you just use it whenever you want to, really. But I'd, I'd imagine Roshan might be the next objective for the team of Virtus Pro to take. Diffuse a Blade now done for Naga. Um, and getting close to that 6 slot, just another item. And there you go. You're 6 slot for that Naga Siren. And now she has Eclipse, the Lycan. No fear, sitting at 21,347. The Naga is 21,500. 99 and rising of course the alchemist is actually doing quite good in his own right with that bkb now he's of course the ablissa blade which he picked up last but also 5,000 golden bank so his next item who knows another necro book picked up by a head gaming though <laughs> nice yep uh well if we're gonna have to go for a die hard push might as well just do everything we can the opportunity necro book has been kind of proving its worth thus far so you know the more the merrier why not right Mott? let's get some more necro books yeah i mean Listen, if it didn't work the first time, just build another one. It'll work the next time. So, I'm sure that's what they're thinking. Right now. I mean, Stop. and to be fair, that's actually pretty true. Um, I mean, the more necro books, it's it just it does so much. I mean, the necro books are what are winning them this fight, I think. But here we go, BKB. Uh -oh. Yeah, this might be trouble right now. No fear. Song of the Siren. Oh, no. Illidan's BKB is done. BKB's going to go for the Batrider. Abyssal Blade goes through on the Bat. Maybe in trouble. No fear getting brought down. Static Storm on top of it all. Lasher goes through. BKB Shell Grip keeping him alive, but just barely. They bring the Lycan down. That's going to be it. The Disruptor falls as well. Four dead. Everybody is dying. The Puck will survive, but just barely. No, the Blink up from Jotham. The Phase Shift. He's going to die anyways. That Puck's Dunzo. McDunzo. GG well played is called. Game number one. Goes to Virtus Pro. Wow, that all started on the back end of a disruptor trying to thunderstrike some illusions from Naga and just couldn't quite get them down. The opportunity came when Alchemist stepped in, found the initiate with the stun, and everyone followed up from there, and it just all went in favor of Virtus Pro. So props to them pulling out the uh, Rat Naga, delaying the game far enough for them to really come into their own and take control. Yeah, absolutely strong game from Virtus Pro. The Naga got up actually a bit quicker than I anticipated. Only at 42 minutes, not too long of a game considering all things happened in that game. So, I mean, you look at it right now, it's game number two coming up, and Virtus Pro with the 1-0 lead. Obviously, looking forward to going to the winner's bracket semis. Of course, ahead trying to avoid the loser's bracket. They'll try to take this next game and tie it up 1-1. But for right now, we're going to head out of here real quick. So, we're going to jump into the next game. But before we do, make sure you go ahead and follow us on Twitter. My name is Mont. You can follow me at twitter.com slash Dota 2 You can follow Coddle Guy at twitter.com slash Coddle Guy. So, we'll take a quick break, everybody. We'll be right back.